Here are 29 facts about Jack from the game Doors. Starting off with fact number one. Jack is a monster from the game Doors. Of course, he's black and white with a big old smiling face. And he has hollow dead eyes that will just stare at like a thousand yard mile stare into your soul. Absolutely terrifying. Next is fact number two. So this guy is basically one of the greatest troll entities in the entire game. Jack isn't really there to be a threat. He's just basically there to troll the individual to make the player say, well, I got jacked. And every time you go into a closet within doors, there is a 1 in 200 chance that Jack will spawn within that closet, preventing you from getting in. Fact number three. Before the first major update of doors, the Hotel Plus update, Jack's spawn weight was a little different. A lot of you guys probably don't remember, but Jack used to be a lot more common. Instead of Jack spawning in a closet out of 1 out of 200 times, he actually spawned in 1 out of 20 times. Which basically means that every time that you went into a closet, there was a 5% chance for Jack to spawn. Fact number four, Jack doesn't only spawn in the closet, he can actually spawn in a doorway, but it's a lot more rare than the closet. There is a 1 out of 2,000 chance for every single door you open within doors that Jack will spawn in the middle of that door, jump scaring you, and turning the whole room red. And if there's a window within that room, the red room, the window is going to be pouring out red water. Fact number five. If rush or ambush spawn, any jack within that room will despawn. But if you move towards the next room as rush or ambush is currently heading towards you, it will not deactivate jack to the next room you move forward. So if rush or ambush does spawn, don't go to the next room or there's a chance that jack will get you killed. Because if you try to enter a closet, Jack will prevent you from getting in there and Rush or Ambush will just be able to easily kill you. Quite surprisingly, a lot of people don't know this fact and they get quite upset when they get killed by Jack because it feels like a cheap death. Jack isn't supposed to kill you, but if you run off, he could kill you and it doesn't feel nice. Fact number six. So you know that cool little library? Yeah, that library with the massive blind monster following you around trying to eat your face? Well, guess what? Jack can actually spawn in there. But for whatever reason, Jack can't spawn in the electrical room. I think we can all agree that the library looks the coolest when it's the red room. Doesn't that look pretty badass? You gotta admit, right? Lucky number seven. Hands down, the absolute worst place for Jack to show up is during Seek Chase. Yes, Jack can show up during the Seek Chase. It's not fun. And if this has ever happened to you, let me know down in the comments i genuinely feel really bad for you next up we have fact number eight another fact involving the seek chase is you know like when the chandelier falls down on the hand try to grab you the, like the seek hands well if jack spawns in that room the hands will actually turn red i think it's pretty cool and it's definitely one way to make this chase even scarier fact number nine our amazing friend rush can actually activate jack if rush is coming down the hallway at mock speed and goes through a door there is a slight chance, a 1 out of 2,000 chance, for Rush to spawn Jack. Just like the normal player. If Rush does this to you, make sure you say thank you. He deserves it. Double digit 10. There is actually one indicator to let you know that Jack's in a closet. Just like Rush or Ambush, you need to pay attention to the lights. If there's a closet with a light flickering around it, you know that Jack's in there. So just don't go in there. Fact number 11, Jack can show up multiple times in the exact same locker, so if Jack was in there once, don't go back in there or you might be paying Jack another visit. Go ahead if you want to, but uh, hey, I'd rather stay away from that guy, he's a little touchy, I don't like that. I, I, don't, I don't mess with that, I don't mess with that chat, I don't mess with that. Fact number 12, Jackie boy can spawn in as early as room run, so always be cautious, he's always a threat no matter where you are other than the electrical room. Unlucky, 13. If you're one of the silly goobers who decides to rush ahead to the next room as ambush or rush spawns and dies to Jack like we mentioned, well, the dying light, I mean the, what's his name? The curious light? It's been like a while. No, the curious light. The guiding light, sorry. It's been a hot minute since I played doors, my bad. If you get killed by either ambush or rush from Jack preventing you from entering a closet, there's actually a unique death message the guiding light will tell you. Fact number 14. All right, boys, we're talking about everyone one's greatest fear as a video gamer lag womp womp our lovely friend jack can apparently make the whole room red without even appearing 
and you probably guess why because of lag sometimes you won't load correctly and boom the whole room is red you should have got a red jack but nope you just got a red room and no jack to be seen number 15 during a door q a a fan asks also how hard was it designing the characters rush ambush and jack one of the lead developers ghostly wowser said not that hard they were mostly finished in under a day so our friend jack was literally made in one day well at least the concept art probably not the scripting because that would take a lot more longer than a little silly little drawing fact number 16 the green demon ambush was supposed to be a lot like jack but somehow during development that completely changed and they basically took ambush and jack and split them apart and now they're both their separate entities with their own story and their own gameplay fact number 16 17. The closets is everyone's favorite spot to hide within doors, and it's the most common one. But there's one place that a lot of people forget, under the bed. You can hide under the beds to prevent rush or ambush from killing you, right? Well, luckily enough, Jack can't spawn under the bed, so you won't ever get like that bed jump scare, like the closet, right? Well, originally, there was actually planned to be a separate entity to jump scare you under the bed, just like Jack, but for some reason, it just got removed and it never got fully developed. Fact number 18. Jack wasn't always named Jack. He actually had an original name, which was Mubble. Quite the odd name, but I kind of like it more than Jack. It's a little bit more scary, a little bit more ominous, a little bit more spooky whoopy. But I guess Jack is timeless and you just kind of just don't forget it, right? Here we are with fact number 19. Jack, Glitch, and Shadow are the only entities that deal absolutely zero damage when they jump scare the player. And please listen to what I'm saying before you comment, oh, Bob, Elgato, they don't hurt you. They don't jump scare you. I'm talking about entities that jump scare you. Bob is chilling. Elgato's chilling. They're good. They don't jump scare you. So please don't comment that. Comment how your day is because I hope you're having a lovely day, my friend, because I am. Number 20. Jack has a shorter jump scare when he jump scares you through the door than his closet jump scare. Here are the jump scares frame by frame. And as you can see, when he jump scares you from the closet, it's a lot longer than he jump scares you from a door. 21. As you guys already know, our friend Jack can appear at door 50, causing the whole library to turn a beautiful, beautiful red. But guess what? When the red finally fades, one thing still remains red. The windows. The windows remain red until the room finally deloads. Not like other rooms where everything kind of just turns back to normal. The library, the windows just stay red forever. Fact number 22. Jack is actually a reference to one of my favorite online memes, the Wojak. I guess that's where the name Jack comes from. Makes sense. In the alpha version of Doors, they actually use this meme as a placeholder for Jack. Fact number 23. This one's a doozy. This one's gonna make your mind blown. But uh, Jack's file name is scaryface.png. Wow, that's absolutely gonna be changing your life forever, knowing that amazing fact. I'm really teaching you guys some really important stuff here, guys. You're welcome. Fact Jack's jump scare sound is actually pretty unique, but it's not what you think it is. It actually comes from an audio called fire crackling. What you hear is just fire crackling. I know, quite a unique way to use that sound, and I absolutely adore it. Fact number 25, we are one fourth way to 100. Holy moly. Doors has a lot of UGCs, and I know because I bought every single one of them because I'm an absolute simp. Well, guess what? They might plan one with our friend Jack here. Red Ables has talked about adding a backpack on Roblox with a closet of Jack peeking out. I would love to see it. I hopefully add it. Fact number 26. Jack will most likely appear in the next update, Floor 2, and many other future updates after that. I'm not even speculating. Red Able said Timothy and Jack will most likely be represented in many other levels, so our friends aren't going anywhere. Jack is never leaving our heart. Fact number 27. Jack can be found in the painting titled Captain Jack, and this is actually a reference to a fellow YouTuber named Captain Jack Attack. Since in the painting, Jack is wearing the same hat that Captain Jack Attack wears on his Roblox avatar. Hecho numero 28. The latest update, The Back Door, was amazing. It added a lot of brand new content and so many new entities that made the game feel a lot different. But at the same time, they also removed a few things from the back doors. You aren't able to find Timothy, Shadow, nor Jack 
in the back door. So getting a red room within the back door is basically impossible. And finally, fact number 20. Nine. If you look deep within the game files, you can find this lovely animation of Jack, but it's never used in the game. It's just there in the files, wasting away and letting the dust crawl all over it. So there we have it, guys. That is every single entity indoors and every single fact I know about Jack. If you guys really want me to do, I will do the back door entities. If you guys like, let me know down in the comments if you want to see that. And guys, guess what? I just finished this amazing video about the mimic. It's a really good story and some crazy stuff happened in this. This video will blow your mind. It's over 50 minutes long. So if you're looking for a long watch, could not recommend a better video than this one. Anyway, guys, make sure you guys like, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out. Have a good one.